Well, hello everyone. Um, I've just started week two of hyperbaric oxygen chamber treatment, and um, well, I thought I'd just share quickly how my first week went. And I've got to say, okay, you know, it's it's not the worst. It's certainly by no means the worst treatment in the world. But you know, it was kind of tough. It was kind of tough. Um, I think because it's you know you're starting something new and I think with any any new treatment especially a, like a a long standing treatment you know the first week is always is always pretty tough I think so but I mean what do I need what do I mean by tough well I think some of it's to do with you know trying to fit hyperbaric chamber treatment in with um full-time work and all the other things that busy people have to do in their lives um, and they're you know undoubtedly I don't know whether it's like this for the whole way through the treatment but undoubtedly the first week you sort of feel like someone's hit you with a truck um, just in terms of tiredness about about an hour after coming out of the chamber maybe an hour and a half later you sort of get this um, this kind of fog of tiredness, this thick fog of tiredness descend upon you and you sort of, you know, you just want to sit somewhere with a cup of tea and, and have, have a little nana nap, which is not necessarily possible. It certainly hasn't been possible for me. So really by the end of week one, I was really flagging. Um, I also had a cold which I thought was really interesting because it didn't stop me going in the chamber. So as long as I could pop my ears, um, you know, I took took some sinus clearing drops and I was able to go in the chamber and, and it just wasn't a problem at all. So I was kind of worried about things like getting a cold before going into uh, the chamber. But actually, it's not a big deal, not a big deal. I think, obviously, if you've got a really heavy cold, that might be different but you know I just had a kind of normal cold mm, it was fine absolutely fine so that was kind of good um, another thing that I experienced was that my stomach really hurt and I had um, you know worsening of my symptoms and that was quite interesting but in my experience it's not uncommon to sometimes get a worsening of symptoms with a new treatment before they get better so that was also challenging, trying to do something new, have the symptoms flare up. Um, so my stomach was really bad. And I also had stomach pains, which um, either may have been due to the treatment or it may have been that during the time that you're in the chamber for two hours, you have to actually breathe quite deeply, which is not necessarily your natural rate of breathing. So I am not I'm not every breather. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I don't breathe really deeply <laughs> by nature. Excuse me. Um. So, so I'm not. I'm not a heavy breather, and so I found that having to breathe really deeply in and out, in and out, in and out for two hours straight, that may have actually been the cause of why. Uh, my stomach was hurting was pr probably because I was using different stomach muscles that and and I'm not massively fit I've got to say and they're probably muscles that I don't get to use a lot so you know inflating your diaphragm uh, you know quite a lot with breathing and you know you have to pull a breath in uh, to actually get a good lung full of the oxygen um, and you get told off if you don't breathe deeply enough because obviously you want to get as much oxygen as possible whilst you're under the pressure so I did find that all in all what with the root canal and the stomach pains and you know let's face it a couple of days the rampant shits you know <laughs> it's all good fun um, and so by the time I hit the weekend I was I was kind of really really ready to have a couple of days off and I I was massively grateful for them and Saturday I was really tired and Sunday I, I, I woke up feeling really good 
and took the walk, for, walk, dog for a walk in the sunshine, and it was all fantastic. But come Sunday afternoon, you know, I was having a nana nap on the sofa. So I think certainly the first week, it's really, really tiring, and there are changes in your body just for going through different treatment and the stress of getting somewhere new and dealing with something new. But you know, it's okay. It's you know, it's certainly not the worst thing in the world that I've put myself through. And I've started week two today. And I feel okay. You know, I feel really tired. But I don't touch wood seem to have any stomach pains yet this week. Um, but it's going really well. So, you know, there's always, hey, there's always a price to pay with treatment. But it's going pretty well. So I will say my goodbyes and I'll keep you posted and um, hope you're all doing well out there. All right. Bye.